Hi card making friends, it's Sandy here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in a YouTube hop celebrating the new Alex Siberia Designs Sunkissed Memories release. In particular, I'm playing with the tulips, treasure stamps, and die set uh, with these huge beautiful tulips. The coordinating layered stencils for both images and the hot foil plates for both as well. I'm going to use the new Meadow Magic cover die, the Sunrays Hot Foil Plate. Uh, there is a coordinating set of stencils for those. I'm not playing with those today though. Uh, also the Love and Hugs Hot Foil Plates and Dies. And uh, we're going to do a whole bunch of foiling to get started. So get your foiling machines out and let's warm them up. Okay, my hot foiling machine is all warmed up, so I'm going to jump right in here. Uh, I have my little green button, the middle one there, tells me that I'm heated up and ready. I'm going to add my foiling plate, and let's discuss foil. There's two that I like to use, gold and polished brass. Polished brass is on the left-hand side, and you'll see that it is a little bit deeper color than just the plain gold. I like to use this um, because it shows up better in my photos, and also it's a little bit of a deeper gold when you look at it in you know real life when you've got a card in your hand so uh, just a heads up there that if you like really deep gold this is the foil for you so you're going to cut a piece and you're going to place it good side down on your foiling plate then you're going to add your paper press the little timer button in the bottom left hand corner and this is going to time off uh, heating everything up and getting ready to run it through your platinum six I like to tape down these three pieces so they don't move around while I'm moving my platform from this hot foiling machine to the Platinum 6. So this is Spellbinders tape that I'm using. Okay, and I'm just going to move that aside because we have to wait for the timer to time off. And I'm bringing in my Platinum 6, getting all ready. And I have got my shims and my over two overlay panels that we're going to be using today. You'll see my overlay panel. This is what happens when you make mistakes and you put your foil the wrong side up. You end up foiling your plates and everybody does it. So I hope you have pretty plates. Uh, my Platinum 6 is a little bit on the loose side. So I have two shims, one's cardboard and one is cardstock. So we're going to be using those today and then uh, when we start to do the sentiments, we're going to foil a few of those. I'm going to show you a boo-boo that comes when you overfoil. Okay, so my timer has timed out. I have pulled my platform out and I'm pushing both my thumbs on top of the panel to hold everything in place while I move it over to my Platinum 6. And then I'm slowly going to run it through the Platinum 6. You only want to run it through once. You do not want to go back and forth because once you get off of the, the uh, foiling plate, it jumps and sometimes the plate moves. If you move it back again, you're going to double foil. And there we go. We've got beautiful foiling. There's a little bit of over foiling in the bottom. I'm not going to worry about it because I'm going to be die cutting this image out. Next, I'm going to foil the Love and Hugs Hot Foil Plates, okay? There are two different fonts here. There's a little kind of bold uh, word one, and then there's kind of a loopy couple big ones for the Love and the Hugs. So I'm pressing the uh, timer button, putting my foil down. I've got a long skinny piece of black cardstock, and again, I'm taping this all in place and waiting for the timer to count down. And while you're doing that, you could be cutting up your next pieces. So I have got my plates set and I'm running this through the machine. Again, go slowly, give it time to move, uh, press the gold into your cardstock for you. Okay, here's my first boo-boo, way over glimmered, okay? This is because of my shim. So I'm going to do this again and I'm going to take out my cardboard shim and I'm just going to leave my cardstock shim in there. Sometimes you just have to play with your machines to see uh, how they work and what kind of pressure that you need. Okay, I dumped my hot sentiments over on the left-hand side. I have my cooling tray sitting there. It comes with the hot foiling machine. I show it to you a little bit later. And I have loaded the glowing geometry hot foil plate. Uh, this came out in the last release. I love this thing. Um, so I am going to warm this up and I have already cut 
my foil for it and I'm just waiting for it to heat up while I'm doing that I'm getting ready for my next one and you'll see that I'm going to use a piece of uh, watercolor paper that I have used the Lindy's Magical Cattail Copper Brown on. This is a beautiful, beautiful kind of goldy, brassy brown. And I really wanted to use this as a background to make a card. So I'm putting it in this video. Okay, so taping everything down so it doesn't move around. Waiting for my timer to time off for me. Just about there. May as well cut a piece of foil while I'm waiting, right? Get my next stack ready setting that aside okay we're ready okay pull the platform out place your plates on slowly run it through your big shot machine this one's or your big shot machine wow uh your platinum six okay and then gently release and look at that beautiful beautiful background and i'm going to save that piece i'm going to reverse foil that one because it came out perfectly Okay, flipping that hot plate back over onto the cooling mat, and we're coming up with the next one. This is the Sunrays Hot Foil Plate, also avail uh, new this month. Again, my brass, polished brass foil, and this time I'm using another watercolor sheet, and this one was done with Lindy's Magicals. I think it was Lucky Shamrock Green and uh, Tidal Pool Teal or something. Anyway... Uh, I've pushed my button, so waiting for the countdown to go. In the meantime, I've got my hello die ready, getting my foil ready, because I need that sentiment for this uh, previous card as well. And I like to do all my foiling at once, as you can see. Uh, get the machine hot, get everything that you want to make, and then I sit down and I make a whole pile of cards. I often will foil extra pieces and save them for the days that I want to make a card and I don't have time to wait for the foiling machine to, you know, set up and, and get going on it. So I have a whole stash. So I'm just showing you that one turned out kind of pretty too. So that'll be a background that we'll use a little bit later in a card. And here's the big hello. Okay, and I'm going to foil this one on a scrap of black. So I've got everything just about ready to go. I'm showing you that again because I just can't believe how pretty it is. There's a really cool center in that one. It's an overfoil, but it looks nice. Okay, there's the, the cooling plate that uh, comes with the machine. And I just bang everything on there until it's all cool and then off we go. All right, so I'm done with the machine. I'm going to turn it off. And we're going to start making some cards out of all these things that I have foiled. Before we do that, I'm just going to make another background with the uh, Meadow Magic Cover Die because I need one for one of the card ideas. So I'm using my Platinum 6 and just running it through. And it cuts it and embeds the design in it all at the same time. You want to take these little yellow extra pieces of tape off the back. Uh, sometimes they do show up in your cards on the edge. So there we go. You can't see that. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the plate. There's a really cool design on that plate. Okay, we're going to use the layering stencils. And the first colors I've started with are Pink Fresh, Sparkling Rose, Bubblegum, Raspberry Bliss, Aquamarine, Mermaid Cove, and Tidal Pond. Okay, I'm going to be doing the big single tulip with these colors. And I'm going to place it down on a sticky mat. And I'm going to attach this stencil number one there's three stencils for each set you start with number one as your lighter color then move to number two then number three i'm using post-it note tape to hold the stencils in place i don't know why i just like post-it note tape <laughs> okay and i got an extra piece because we get really close with the stem and the flower and i want to protect uh, those two colors so again starting with the light and i'm using blending brushes I am going to start adding a layer of color through each of the stencils. So you're going to do the flower first, or I do the flower first with the lightest color, and then I'm going to move the post-it note tape that is protecting the stem, and then I'm going to do the first layer of the leaves and the stem at the bottom. So getting all three of my colors out and ready, transferring that tape, grabbing the next blending brush, I have a scrap piece of paper underneath all of this because I like to pounce off before I bring my ink in so I don't get that big blotch when you first land. I hate those things. <laughs> Probably with the stenciling, with the layering, it doesn't matter so much because the colors will cover it, but I know it's there. Okay, switching out to stencil number two, making sure it's the right side up. 
otherwise it doesn't fit very well. Take your time and make sure that you get it lined up really, really well. It's really important. Okay, getting rid of my two light colors. We're moving to the two medium colors now. And this adds such beautiful detail and depth to each of the flowers. They did a really good job with these. So when you're adding your ink, you want to blend in both directions, making sure that you get into all the nooks and crannies, especially when you're using the bigger brushes. And the first two stencils have very, very large spots in them, and that's why I'm using the bigger brushes. When I get to the third one, it's very detailed, so I move over to the slimmer brushes. Okay, final colors. I love this color combination, don't you? And see in the middle there where they overlap, they turn to purple. Just in case you want to ink blend a background. Okay, the final one, I got a little bit of ink on it and it's going to transfer. So I'm using my sleeve to clean it off. <laughs> Hence why I wear black shirts every time I do my stamping. Okay, and take a sec and line that up beautifully. And then you're going to tape the little guy down. I am yeah, protecting the stem again. Okay, going to the small brush this time. And you'll see the details just pop. I really, really, really like this tulip. It is such a beautiful design. Okay, flipping that tape up. I'm going to have to hold it now because there's too much ink on the stencil and it won't stay by itself. Okay, and doing the final layer with the darkest of the kind of aquamarine colors or teal. Okay, so that finishes this one. And now what I'm going to do, as soon as I finish showing you how beautiful it is, the one thing I didn't show on the video is I take a soft cloth and I rub it over this at the end to get any of the ink off of where the gold foil was. I'm switching out and I'm going to do the other tulips now. And I'm using the same colors and I'm going exactly the same, starting with the first stencil with the lightest colors, working my way through to the third stencil with the darkest colors. And of course, this is sped up a little bit. You've got to cover some of these guys because they're really, really close to where the leaves and the stems are. And you don't want the blue into your pink and, and changing your flower to purple. That would be pretty, uh, but don't go the other way on your leaves. Okay, so adding the big bulk of the color, working my way through, going both ways, making sure that I get good coverage. I use this one for um, the darkest color and I wanna use it for the medium now, uh, both the pink and the blue. So I'm just cleaning it off on my cloth. So here's color number two. And really these take no time at all. These stencils are just magical. They make you look like such an artist without putting a whole bunch of effort in. And of course, you can color these too. You can get out your Copics or, you know, you can watercolor them. Do your foiling on watercolor paper and then watercolor away. I've done that. Very pretty. I think there's a couple of videos in my YouTube channel. So adding the second layer, again, going in both directions to make sure I get good coverage. This second uh, stencil has a lot of really, really skinny uh, little holes in it which is why I went for the smaller blending brush on this one. It helps to get in those little tight spots. Okay so this is the darkest of the pinks, the Raspberry Bliss, for my final layer. Getting those pretty little flowers all done. Covering them up and we're going in with Tidal Pond for my last one. This is also very forgiving. You don't really need to have super good coverage because if you're light in one spot, you don't really notice because there's so much detail in the layers of the colors. So if you have somebody who's new to stamping, this would be a great first technique to show them because they're gonna be so impressed with the results. They're gonna think they're a rock star. Okay, let's have a reveal. Ta-da! Look how pretty that is. I love this color combination. 
All right, here's what I made with them. I have so many cards to share with you. I decided to save you from the layering, putting together process. Um, I got lots of videos that share that if you like. So I used another piece of waterfall cardstock from Spellbinders and used the Metal Magic cover plate. And so I did two layers in the background of the card. And then I used the Metal Magic cover plate for the tag as well to get a little bit of uh, kind of background noise going on. Here is the brown one. I am totally in love with this one. The inks I used on this one are all Gina K. So Tangerine Twist Tomato Soup Coral Reef and then Sandy Beach Craft and Warm Cocoa. Beautiful. I am in love with this card. Nobody's getting it. I'm keeping it. <laughs> and this is where I used my big hello and it's, you know, embossed on black. And then I put a little bit of black cardstock behind this just to pop it. It is so pretty. For my purple loving friends, here's your card. And Pink Fresh, a soft lilac, lavender, regal kiss, grassy knoll, key lime, and olive were the colors that I used for this one. And then I die cut it out. And on a card front, I just used the grassy knoll and added some green near the bottom. Okay, so the products I used for this one was the Tulips Treasure Hot Foil Plates. And then once I was finished uh, with the stencils that I also used on this one, I used the dies to cut out the image so that I could do it as an overlay. Okay, and then the sentiment is from the stamp set. There's quite a few different sentiments in the stamp set, so it's nice to use those as well. For the background, as I said, I did some ink blending on the bottom and then I took these gem colors, Gansel Tambi, in the gold, the green, and the purple, and I did a splatter in the background. These next three cards I actually shared uh, the other day in my blog, so I'll zip right through here. Um, we used Pink Fresh, Ballet Slippers, Sparkling Rose, and Bubblegum, Aquamarine, Mermaid Cove, and Tidal Pond. And of course, I used the Glimmer Hot Foil, and the stamp set and the dies and the background was done with uh, Tibetan poppy teal lucky shamrock green from Lindy's Magicals and then I hot foiled over that with the sun rays hot foil plate you saw me do that this one's a little bit different if you don't want to color you can actually take one of those Lindy's magical backgrounds that I created and you can foil right onto it which is what I did for this one so I used the hot foil plate of the three tulips and then I mounted it to a background done with the Metal Magic cover die. Super fast and easy card but oh my goodness is it ever pretty. Finally you can also use the stamp set and just stamp the images and then use the stencils to color them which is what I've done for this card and tag and I shared all three of these in a blog post the other day I will link to that blog post underneath this video for you because all the details of everything that I use plus the instructions on how to make these last three projects are all in that blog post and you'll see that I used the tags for this one this is the new signature tags die set and there are four different tags and a couple of dies to go with them and there's the two different ones that I used and I also used just those uh, dies that are in there to do a little peekaboo on this one and then made a stencil for the tag and put some paste through it. So here's all of today's cards. I hope you enjoyed today's video and you got some inspiration uh, for some different ways to use these fun new pro products from Alex Siberia Designs and everything that I've used today is linked underneath my video. There's also a link over to my blog where you can get descriptions and if you enjoyed today's video please consider giving me a thumbs up and until next time toodles enjoy the hop